If you're thinking about moving to the Finger Lakes in Rochester region of upstate New York, you need to watch this video because in this video I'm talking about where you should live when relocating to the Finger Lakes and Rochester regions. Let's get into it. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. My name's Anthony. I'm with the American Home Team here in upstate New York. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every Tuesday and Thursday that I release a new video. With that being said, as much as I love making these videos for you on everything living, breathing, eating, sleeping, playing in upstate New York, in the Finger Lakes Rochester region, I would love even more to help you with that move to this region. So that number and that email that's popping up on your screen, I am the guy that answers those phone calls, texts, and emails. So be sure to give me a shout. I would love to help you in your move here to the Finger Lakes Rochester regions. That being said, today we're doing a full tour of where you should be living when you relocate to the Rochester or the Finger Lakes region. And we're gonna take you into my computer screen, so this is gonna be a little bit different than the videos we've been usually doing here. Um, so just uh, stick with me, follow along with me, and we will get through this. All right, guys, so just to give you a lay of the land here, we're looking at upstate New York. You got New York City down here, you've got Albany here, Buffalo's way over here, and Rochester is here. So we're gonna be looking right in this region here. It's considered Western New York. So zooming in a little bit, we're gonna go um, west to east here. So all the way west, you have uh, Canisius Lake. Um, moving east, you've got Hemlock, Canadice, Honeyoy, um, and then Canandaigua. So I just did a video on Canandaigua. It's where I was born and raised. One of the larger lakes here. And then dropping down a little bit south, you have um, Cuca, Seneca, Cayuga, Owasco, Skinny Atlas, and Otisco. So those are the Finger Lakes. Those are the main lakes here that we're talking about when we talk about the Finger Lakes. And so then you can see Syracuse is over here. Dropping right down into it. Today, I wanted to talk about um, just a couple areas. This is going to be a multiple part series, but I wanted to talk about a couple areas that you should look into when you're relocating to the Rochester or Finger Lakes region. And of course, this is all opinionated. This is all just giving you the information that we think is necessary for you to be able to make a good decision in where you move to. So, that being said, we're going to move a little bit um, northwest into uh, Rochester. So you see Rochester here. You see the outlying towns um, and cities. And so where I wanted to go first was I wanted to go into Menden right here. And so the reason I want to go into Menden is primarily because Menden is like one of those towns that it's super rural there's a lot of green space you can see around here but then there is a cute little town here um kind of like a main street if you will it's got the fire station it's got um the school and fields there's a rec center over there there's child care there's all sorts of things that you could ever need right in menden and the reason i bring menden up is because what we're finding with a lot of the relocations here uh, that we're talking to is they want somewhere that's close to the city being Rochester and obviously you can see Rochester is right here so from Menden to Rochester that's probably about a 15 to 20 minute drive um, and the only reason it takes that long is just because you're not as close to um, I-90 right here which is the throughway or expressway 490 but it is still a close drive so you can drive right over and you can hop on 490 and head up to the city or you can hop onto I-90 and head over and continue into Henrietta and then go up into the city so there's multiple different options there but Menden is one of those areas that it's like it feels like it's out there. There's a lot of green space. There's a lot of parks. Menden Ponds Park here is one of the top parks in the area. It's just an amazing park. Um, many, many, many people go there and they kayak in the parks. They take the pictures there. Um, your engagement shoots. Uh, my wife and I did our uh, maternity shoot over there. So there's just great scenery 
and a lot to do in that Menden area while still being close to downtown Victor, which is right here, right? Um, this Fishers area in Victor, this is where a majority of your um, commercial is going to be. You got the Eastview Mall over here. So there's a lot going on in Menden. You're just a short drive away from everything. And so then you look over here, you have Hanoi Falls. We did a video on that. You have Lima, you have West Bloomfield, you have Ionia. Uh, Bloomfield's over here. And then you have Henrietta over here. So there's a lot going on in the surrounding areas of Menden. And that's why I think Menden tops the list of one of the places that, that you should move to when coming into the Rochester and Finger Lakes region. Now, moving over just a little bit east on the other side of I-90, uh, we'll talk about Macedon. So Macedon is where my wife and I bought our first house. Macedon is a um, nice little town. Not as much to do in the town of Macedon as like Menden or uh, Fairport or some of these other towns. But it is just a short drive over to uh, Rochester City. So Rochester City is right here so and you see Macedon here and then Rochester City so again that's about a 15 to 20 minute drive just like Menden and the only reason it takes that long is proximity to the expressways so you will have to go on some back roads over to 490 which will then shoot up to the city that being said Macedon is filled with a bunch of parks there's a bunch of parks you can take the kiddos to and, you know, just enjoy a lot of outdoor time. There are some trails that go through the wooded areas out here. And um, so, again, Macedon is a more rural, suburban area. But a lot of people that we've been finding have been liking that. They like kind of like the proximity to the cities, but then still being out in, you know, just having free space, if you will. And so... Moving on from Macedon, we will go to Farmington down here. Farmington is one of my favorite areas. It's actually where I live right now. Literally, it's right next to I-90. So from Farmington, you can hop on I-90 and it's a straight shot almost anywhere you want to go. So if you want to go over to Syracuse, you can head over to Syracuse over here. And that's about an hour and 10 minute drive maybe. Um, if you want to go over to Rochester, Rochester is right here. And that's about another, you know, 15 minute drive, but it's all highway. So it's super easy. And then Farmington has a quick drive into Canandaigua. And so the reason why Farmington is so popular is because taxes are cheap. You have a variety of different schools. And then there's so much in and around Farmington. They're shopping here. Most of your attractions will be in Canandaigua or maybe Victor with uh, Eastview Mall or Dryer Park is in Victor as well. But Farmington, you can get Victor schools, you can get uh, Canandaigua schools, you can get Shortsville or Red Jacket schools rather, and then you can get Paul Mac schools. So you have four different options that you can go to depending on where in Farmington that you live. If you live up in this area, you're going to go to Paul Mac schools. If you live over in this area, you'll you'll go to Red Jacket Schools, which is Manchester Shortsville. If you live down in this area, you'll be going to Canandaigua Schools. And then if you live over in this area, then you'll be going to Victor Schools. And they're all very good schools. So really, if you don't want to have to worry about it, Farmington is a great place because anywhere that you land in Farmington, the kids will have a great education system surrounding them as well as good sports but farmington is just so close to everything it looks like it's further away than menden or macedon to the city of rochester here but just proximity to the expressway just makes it so easy it's literally a straight shot here it's just super easy to get there or to get to anywhere that you want to go rather canandaigua i won't talk about we talked about that in the last video but i will talk about bristol the Bristol area here is very, very rural. Bristol is a lot of green space. There's a lot of rolling hills. It's mountainous. You know, you got Bristol Mountain down this way. So Bristol Mountain is the ski resort in South Bristol. And so there, this is all green space, rolling hills. This is actually a mountain ridge right here. And when we say mountains, we, you know, it's more like giant hills. They're not like... You know, the snow-capped mountains that you're going to find in 
Colorado or something like that. It's you know, they're big rolling hills. So if you're on this mountain ridge over here in Cheshire, you have views of the lake. But what's actually cool from the top of Bristol Mountain here, you can actually see all the way up into the city at nighttime. So if it's a clear night, you can see the Rochester City lights. And while this might be, you know, 20 or 30 miles here, there's good enough visibility where you can see the city and part of the skyline, which is really cool because of the elevation here. So it's just something to to note. The Bristol area and Bloomfield area specifically have great views. You can probably get views of the lake in some parts, but then otherwise you have views of the valleys. We have a close family friend who has a house up on the hill and you can see for miles down into the Bristol valleys and actually over here into Honeyoy and uh, Hemlock you can see as well. So. It's just great area for, you know, sightseeing or getting some good land and green space. And if you want pole barns or something like that, you can definitely do that there. Now, moving north of the city, we will go to Greece. Greece is obviously, you can see here, much more city than all the, or much more urban rather than all the other places I've already shown you. Greece has a lot going on there and it's more and more up and coming as we speak. Greece in the past, just really the past couple of years has seen an astronomical growth. And you know, there's good reason. It's a beautiful area. It lines um, Lake Ontario here. So you go up north, uh, North Greece area. This is Lake Ontario, which is basically an ocean that borders Canada and New York. And so Greece is just a great area because there's so much to do. You got, there's a mall in Greece. There's massive shopping centers. And then there's proximity to the city as well. So if you work in the city right here, Greece is literally right there. You can take 390. You can, uh, you know, swing over here to Arondikoi. You can, you know. There, there's all sorts of options that you can do here in Greece. And it's, you know, right now prices are affordable. I will say for housing that it's super competitive. There are tons of offers being placed on almost every house that you can um, imagine in Greece. And, you know, there's a good amount of money being thrown around. So while your house is maybe in like the 150 to 300 price range for a lot of the, the I, I'd say the average houses, you know, you might be having to offer a little bit higher just because there's such competition there. And that's representative of how popular Greece is becoming. A lot of people want to move to Greece just because of proximity to the city, um, reasons of diversity, having proximity to the lake, Ontario Beach Park, this uh, wildlife area here. There's a whole lot going on in Greece and there's, you know, a good reason why a majority of people are starting to move there now. Um, and then for the last one here, this is just going to be a quick video. We'll swing over to a little bit um, east of the city here, which is Arondikoi. Arondikoi has been named the second hottest real estate market in New York State, which it's indicative of how popular it's gotten. Uh, you have the Seneca Park Zoo over here, which is uh, really popular. It's a smaller zoo. It's not as big. As, it's not nearly as big as like the New York City Zoo or like the San Diego Zoo or anything like that. But it's super popular. It's a great time for the family and the kiddos to go and see the animals and enjoy good family time, as well as the Seneca Park right here. Um, Seneca Park is great. Tons of green space here. Um, there's the little trout lake here and it's just, it lines, um, Genesee river. So just amazing areas over there. Arondikoi has become super popular over the past couple of years again, because the school systems are, are pretty good. The proximity to Rochester is amazing. And then, you know, again, it lines here at the, the lake and you do have sea breeze. Seabreeze is an amusement park. It's got roller coasters. It's got a water park up there. I remember as a kid coming from Canandaigua, we would always, uh, Seabreeze was always one of our field trips. We'd always go from Canandaigua up to Seabreeze and we'd spend, you know, 
a day or two at Seabreeze as a field trip for school. And as a kid, it was always just a blast. They have a, a roller coaster called the Jackrabbit. They have uh, one of those like swinging um, pirate ship things that is just really fun. I had a <laughs> near death experience on that. I felt like when I was 10, um, but really, really good time for the family there at Seabreeze. Um, you can't go wrong living in the Irondequoit area. That being said, guys, that is the quick little 10,000 foot tour of where you should live when relocating to the Rochester and Finger Lakes area. So obviously in this video, we talked kind of more on the northern side, the northwestern side of the lakes. But in the next video, we will talk about, you know, coming over down this way into Geneva, Seneca Falls, uh, Penyan, um, Auburn, and over towards Syracuse a little bit for some of those lakes over there. So we don't service as much over there, but we definitely do have part of our team over there. And so for us, that's just about an hour drive. So it's not even a, a bad drive at all. And it's all I-90 here. But these areas we service a lot all the way up to about Auburn. Um, service Seneca Falls a lot, Penyan a lot, and we have some videos on Penyan as well. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in uh, to watch this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every Tuesday and Thursday that I release a new video. That being said, as much as I love making these videos for you on everything Finger Lakes and Rochester Living, I would love even more to help you with all your real estate needs. So be sure to reach out to that phone number and that email that's popping up on your screen. I am the one that uh, answers to those emails, texts, and phone calls from you guys. And I absolutely love it. We're receiving more and more every day. And it's just amazing to help you guys move up to this area that we love so much. So that being said, we'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.